edible poly, the paint deformation rollout, the push-pull direction area. So here I have an edible poly and I've come over here and selected on vertexes and I'm scrolled down in my rollouts all the way down to my paint deformation rollout. Down here I have push-pull direction. Now my push-pull direction is by default no, uh, original normal. So what is a normal? A normal is when we have a surface and a, if you take a vector and point it uh, 90 degrees off that surface pointing out is its normal. So I have a, an arrow that's off 90 degrees pointing out from this surface that is a normal. So that's what we have as default. A deformed normal transformation surface. So after we change it, so this is when after we made the change and we deformed it, then it will go to that normal. And then down here, we're only pushing, pulling in X, Y, or Z. So, and at this point, in a push pull, when I pick on a push pull, right, and I pick on one, it's right now it's based on the deformed normal. And if I go in original, I come over here and I pick, you can see that goes off the original. But I could say, you know what, we want it to be in the Y. So I'll come over here and pick on the Y and I'll pick and boom it moved it over in the Y direction. So uh, the fault is originals. Down here in the push-pull value the amount of push-pull that's being stretched up here is when it's positive it's being uh, pulled up. When it's negative it's being pushed into the object. So I can set this to be less. I can say set it to 5 and I can pick here and it's a little smaller. Okay, and I can set this all the way down to two, and you can see just a small little bump. All right, the brush size, you notice how big that circle is when I move it around? That's my brush size. I can make it smaller, 10, and I click, and now it's a little smaller. So, depending on your preference, there, I can go down to five, and notice mine's even smaller. So, I personally like that a little better. And we have our brush strength, and our brush strength is the, uh, the sp there's a spinner to choose the strength of the brush, so how it applies to our push and pull. We have our brush options, if you want to go in here, and commit. Now, be warned, commit transforms this permanently into these shapes. There is no, um, you know, there is no uh, cancel then. I can't come back and cancel. If I come in here and cancel, I can get rid of all of those things. But when I hit commit, bingo, um, it's there and I can't, uh, you know, it's there permanently. So commit is permanently. So push pulling. Uh, you know, on our paint deformation allows us to change the object uh, by picking on it with like a paintbrush and pulling on its vertices.